Good morning, Celtic fans. In this morning, Celtic FC News on the One Celtic Fans View YouTube channel, Kenny McIntyre is the talk of the town today. Kenny McIntyre gets hurting hun of the day awards for his interview with Angie Poster Coglio last night. He took to Twitter later on to deal with the reaction to his disastrous post match interview with Poster Coglio, where Celtic won 2 0. The starting point basically goes back to the 31st of January where he tweeted that he was a current bun. Now, nothing wrong with that because we know that most of the media are and most of the establishment are in Scotland. So any Celtic's best performance of the last 14 home matches, you know, you're going to get a variety of, of performances at home. We always seem to struggle at home a little bit more. Teams sit back for starters. You know, you've got teams just sitting back. So let's get on to the Kenny McIntyre Interview word for word. Kenny McIntyre failed to take in the perspective when he spoke to Angie Postacoglu after the match. McIntyre says to Angie, I'd love to know your thoughts on the game. I've seen some fantastic matches this season. That certainly wasn't one of them. It was hard to watch at times. Is that fair? Now, if you watched, if you finished the Celtic game and then jumped over to see the Giovanni Van Bronckhorst interview with them. Um, with Sky, his interview, he basically, I mean, Rangers won 1 0, but he was bemoaning the state of the pitch. He was bemoaning everything about the game. He said, it's basically just get three points and back down the road. That was his exact words get three points and back down the road. Yet, current Bun McIntyre, there's just, you know what I mean? He's just a great faced hun at the end of the day. So, Angie Post Coglu responded, well, it depends on what you're looking for. Maybe you're disappointed, but and the way it went, I'm not really sure. <laughs> but I'm dum The fact that the manager will know that he's a Rangers fan and he is, he'll just tell it as it is. Tell it as it is. And that's why we all love Andy Postacoglu. And McIntyre responded, trying to, but uh, no, it's not that. I just felt it. I just felt it. So he can't even hide his emotions. He can't even, if you work for the BBC, you're meant to be non biased. And I think that's one of the things that's wrong with the BBC and it's what's wrong with Scottish football. You know, there's a, you've got the establishment and you've got the, the the referees. Paul Larkin's coming out with a new sequel to anyone but Celtic and it's all about the SFA. So that's one to watch out for. I thought I'd give Paul a shout out on this channel because I've been a long-time supporter of Paul and his work. So anyway... Costa Coglu went on to say, we won the game 2-0. I didn't really, we didn't, they didn't really create anything in, in the Celtic St. Murn game last night. I think we dominated the football. It's a bit hard when the opposition sits so deep at Celtic Park. You know, if anything, they thought, they thought that they were better, we were solid, and Celtic stayed composed. Celtic did what they had to do and the way and to way down an opposition sitting deep and defending well. The interview concluded with McIntyre asking Celtic manager his thoughts on the Rangers results. Who cares? Who cares? Really, who cares? The manager is just going, you know, th this is the obsession. And I'm I'm kind of glad I don't stay in Scotland anymore because the, the obsession that the media has with with them winning over us is, is pretty dramatic and it, it's, it's pretty sad actually especially when you move outside the country and you see it from a fresh perspective I mean I've been to the Celtic games for over God knows how many years I mean everyone that knows me knows I was home and away up until two years ago every week and following Celtic everywhere and you know it's I do miss it yes you miss the football of course you miss the football anyway Celtic fans, what do you think of Kenny McIntyre's interview last night and the fact that he can't even hide the fact that he's a Rangers fan? Have a great day, Celtic fans. It's going to be a good one. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the